sometimes you find stuff at the SEMA show that isn't the most glamorous, bling bling, shiny, new chrome aftermarket accessory, but it's a, a thing you might need, even though you might not know you need it, right? Confused? What I'm trying to tell you is, one day I had my wheels balanced, and I got home, and one of the wheel weights fell right off the car. It was a traditional lead clip-on wheel weight, and I, I was mad because the balance was gone, and now we got a piece of lead on the ground, and I started to think, you know, now I got to have them redone, and, and the environmental aspects and all the rest of it. So walking through the hallways here at SEMA, I come past the 3M booth and notice that they have a new environmentally safe wheel balancing system that doesn't fall off and is easier and smarter and better to use, right? Uh, Greg Purser is going to tell us all about it. Well, thanks, Kevin. This is actually a relatively new product from 3M. Uh, as you noted, it is not made of lead. It's actually a lead-free material, and it's also corrosion-free. So uh, you won't have that problem with your waist coming off a little bit, and I'll explain that for you here in a second. Um, unique to the, to the lead-free clip-on waist in the industry today and, and why 3M designed this product is uh, most people don't know that one out of six waste actually come off your wheels on the on the highways today, and of course those those materials end up in our in our food in our supply chain. So one out of six lead weights fly off the car. Abs yes, that's correct. Now, and some wheels have multiple weights on them. Well, they all have two, at least two weights. Yeah, at least two. And how many cars out there? A, a zillion, billion, trillion cars? At least a couple hundred million. Yeah. Yeah. So we, that's a real problem. That means a little thing of lead now is, is turned into a gigantic problem. Well, actually, that's that's correct. And uh, recently, the EPA, uh, 3M is also a charter member of this initiative with uh, other manufacturers, is uh, moving to eliminate lead weights from, from the industry by 2010. And I believe the state of California in July of next year, actually, lead weights will not be allowed to be installed in that in that state. So on this product here, which has been lead-free from the beginning, um, what we designed here is a very easy-to-use system for the tire shops and technicians that do the work for us all every day. And you can see it's a, it's a continuous piece of material. Uh, you move it actually out to our scale here. So specifically what this uh, balancing equipment will tell the technician is, you know, here is an example of I need 30 grams or about an ounce of material, right? So the operator moves it out along the ruler, simply squeezes the cutting mechanism, and there's a weight to be installed on the wheel for balance. Custom fit, proper length, and probably much more precise in measure than the standard old lead sizes. Uh, very precise. In fact, these machines have gotten so sophisticated now that uh, we, can, we can actually have this tell us. Uh, in that example, it usually would have rounded up, but suppose it was actually, you know, here in this example, it was 32 grams. So if the machines do today, they'll round up or down to the nearest five gram increment. Sure. But they'll also tell you the exact amount of weight you want. Uh -huh. So in this particular case, we could cut that to 32 grams, and you get a much more precise balance. And of course, you get a better ride quality out of that as a customer. Because at speed, uh, a couple grams makes a difference. Oh, at speed, a uh, gram makes a huge difference actually in yeah. the performance you get and the ride quality you get in the vehicle. In fact, most OEMs actually specify that, and you might be surprised to know that. Typically, it's about seven grams uh, is the total difference that they'll allow in the balance of a wheel because when you're running at 70 miles an hour, that's, of course, magnified many, many times in terms of what we feel in the steering wheel of a car. Now, do you know anything about why they seem to vibrate at different speeds? Uh, a little bit. You know, basically it has to do with uh, how well your, your wheel is balanced, uh, how well it's been actually installed onto the wheel itself, you know, that's when you install, install the on the plate on the tire. Um, and um, that's, that's usually the biggest factors. I mean, there's a little bit around, that's why you rotate your tires, right, to make sure you have even tread. And you're trying to reduce the amount of uh, friction you have against the road, which is what, you know, the rolling resistance, as it's called, because that will also add to the vibration resistance in your, in your tire. Now, what if I have, th this to me, the, the, the profile shape looks like a traditional lead wheel weight. What if I got a set of fancy wheels and, and I, I've seen them being balanced on the inside or, or in a different shape than this? Well, that's a good point. Uh, there's actually another product we make that's a little flatter um, and it's designed to go on the inside of the wheel. And today's, again, today's equipment will actually allow you to what they call split the weights. So if I go to the tire shop or I go to any one of my service um, representatives, 
they can actually put the weights behind the flanges in the wheel so I never see them and still get it as good a balance. And that's what we see here at the SEMA show. Yes. A lot of show cars, you don't see any weights on them. I bet some people actually don't balance them just because they're show cars. But if they're going to get driven, they want to hide the weights. Absolutely. Okay, so we've been talking about street-driven cars, can, you know, your basic daily drivers. What about, uh, you know, a drag racer who's going 230 miles an hour in a quarter mile? Does this work for that? Absolutely. In fact, uh, Kevin, we're very excited earlier this year. Uh, Firestone Performance Sports uh, announced that they're exclusively using our wheelie products for all their racing circuit, which includes the Indianapolis 500 and many other uh, Wow, other IRL races. stuff. Yep, all the IRL races. So we're very, very excited about that. Well, if it's going to stick there, it isn't going to come off on the highway. Uh, no, actually, if, uh, if it sticks on a performance car, you're um, three times more durable than you are in anything that you and I would do, hopefully, yeah, on, right. most, on most streets. <laughs> Legally, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, great. So I like this. I, I like the fact that it's precise. It's going to stay on. Uh, it's environmentally responsible. What do I do to make sure I can get this installed on my car at my local shop? I think a couple simple things. First, I would contact the store, uh, either in, when you're there in person or ahead, tell them you've seen this product on your show. Uh, the 3M product is certainly available through many, many of our channel partners in the industry, uh, and it should be relatively simple uh, for them to procure it and then install it on your vehicle. Excellent. So I just got to ask them, make sure they get it in stock. Yep. And, uh, you know, the only thing that's been bothering me, where do I get a tire bound so it's full of candy? <laughs> right here at SEMA anytime, any year. That's it. The big SEMA candy store. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.